Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 9.2, number 69. And here we were told we had an arithmetic sequence. So I can see a sub 1 right there, which is a, always a good piece of information to know. Um, but I would also, whenever I have an arithmetic sequence, like to know D, the common difference. Now I can get that by subtracting the first term from the second term or the second term from the third term. It doesn't matter that it should be constant. And that's what you see me doing here. I'm doing a sub 2 minus a sub 1. This is a sub 3 minus a sub 2. Right? And you see that that difference is constant. So my d value here is negative 2a plus 4b. And yeah, it has some letters in it, but that's still the common difference. So let me, let me put that a sub 1 is 3a minus 2b, and my difference is negative 2a plus 4b. Because whenever I have an arithmetic sequence, finding a sub 1 and d, they're pretty important. They help you with everything. And we need the 11th term. So I'm going to go ahead and use my arithmetic sequence formula, and we're going to plug in n being 11, right? a sub 1 is going to be 3a minus 2b, n itself is going to be 11, and the d value is going to be negative 2a plus 4b. And what I'm going to solve for is a sub 11. So at that point, it's a bunch of algebra, right? I, I plug in all of those values, I distribute, I multiply, I collect like terms, and a sub 11 is negative 17a plus 38b. All right, thanks so much. Bye.